Year two of the Mike Bobo era is underway at Colorado State. The Rams returned 13 starters from a team that went 7-6, and six, including a bowl berth in 2015. Here's what you need to know as we count down to kickoff with the Colorado State Rams. Colorado State takes aim at a fourth straight bowl appearance in 2016, something that hasn't happened since 2003. This will be the final season at Hughes Stadium, the place the Rams have called home since 1968. They'd love to cap off its legacy with a Mountain West championship run. One of the reasons I'm at Colorado State is the tradition, and a lot of that tradition happened at Hughes Stadium, uh, so Sonny Lubick Field, and uh, I want our guys to take pride in that, that they're playing for a lot of guys that played here that wore the green and gold, and we're going to honor it, we're going to talk about it decade by decade of who played here, who wore the green and gold, and what they meant to this university, this football program, and we're going to honor them in the, in the way we play the game. The Rams will likely make a strong commitment to the running game with four starters back on the offensive line. Dalen Dawkins is the team's top returning rusher, having ran for 867 yards in 2015. The Rams rushed for 100 yards or more in the final four regular season games last season, and Dawkins will likely carry that into the fall as the featured weapon in the backfield. You, you look at him and you think he's a little bit smaller running back, and he's a guy that's only going to try and run around you, but he's really one of those guys who will surprise you about hard, uh, by how hard he actually hits people. Uh, he, he'll run in between the tackles and kind of lay the wood on some guys that might not expect it, or if he's uh, you know, throwing a pass block and the guy's coming off the edge, I think they're just going to run through him and he pops him in the jaw. Linebacker will be a strength for the Colorado State defense in 2016, headlined by Kevin Davis, who's coming off a season that saw him make a team-high 101 tackles. The fifth-year senior is known as a big hitter who can play both inside and out. I'm really happy how I've you know, got to play last year. Um, uh, like you said, over 100 tackles. Um, throughout the rest of my career, I was kind of injured, so that kind of hindered me from getting to my full potential. So it was awesome to be able to play a full season. The Rams open up the season with four non-conference games, which includes the annual Rocky Mountain Showdown in Denver against the University of Colorado. The Rams and Buffaloes have split the last four games. It's a showcase contest in the state of Colorado that goes a long way in setting the tempo for the entire season. I'm excited about you know week one, playing in that football game and getting a chance to uh, you know, go against them and see where we end up. But that's what you want, you know. That's why, you know, I, I love the passion. Uh, I love the passion for football in the state of Colorado that week in that game. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here is the tradition in this state, and especially at Colorado State, and to play in a game like that, it's, uh, it's what gets you excited. You look at the offensive side of the football, I'm not sure if there's going to be a better offensive line in the Mountain West Conference than Colorado State. Four of the five starters are coming back, plus you have a Division I transfer in Paul Thurston coming from the University of Nebraska, who figures to be in the rotation there. You also look at the quarterback battle. I don't think it's a bad thing. Nick Stevens, a second-team All-Mountain West Conference selection of a season ago, he's going to get pushed by the Georgia transfer, Fatone Bouda. But... Mike Bobo says competition is a good thing. If Bowda wins out, he deserves it. And Colorado State will be better off for it. If not, Nick Stevens will be back with certainly high confidence as he will lead Colorado State offensively here this year. Thank you, Brian. Colorado State opens up the season on Friday, September 2nd, against the University of Colorado in Denver. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.